Kia ora tato. in the headlines. One of New Zealand's youngest murderers has this afternoon been jailed for 18 years for shooting dead his caregiver. 13-year-old Jordan Nelson shot 50-year-old Rosemary Kurth as she was doing a jigsaw puzzle at their remote farm property near New Plymouth. Justice Heath said amongst several factors leading to the killing, the 13-year-old was upset he wasn't allowed to visit his mother in Hawke's Bay. There will be a shake-up in Parliament next year and education is expected to be a top priority for John Key. Yesterday, Education Secretary Leslie Longstone walked out on a five-year contract after just one year. Political editor Barry Soper says despite John Key saying he has full confidence in Hekia Parata, the fallout from the current education issues won't go away in a hurry. And a pay rise has today been confirmed for MPs. The Remuneration Authority says since 2009, MPs' packages have failed to keep pace with increases in the cost of living and with general wage movements. Their salaries will be going up 1.9% and backdated to the end of June. A Taranaki farming couple that lost 122 cows is stunned by the level of support they have received. 20% of Chris and Catherine Cook's herd died within minutes of drinking urea-tainted water. But the rural community has come to the rescue with 90 cows donated from around the North Island. An anonymous farmer from the Bay of Plenty has donated $2,500 towards transporting the stock. Qantas' partnership with Emirates is set to receive approval from the competition watchdog, despite fears it could increase airfares between New Zealand and Australia. In a draft decision, the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission says it will authorise an alliance between the two airlines for five years. Qantas and Emirates had been seeking a 10-year approval, but the Commission says they have concerns about potential fare increases. Trying to stay focused on the real reason for this festive season can be challenging when roads are clogged and fuses are short. Motor Trade Association spokesperson Stephanie Anderson says patience is crucial. She says be considerate and treat the journey as part of your holiday, not as something that must be endured. Sunday is the official start of the holiday road toll and coincides with the launch of Operation Crossroads, a joint initiative between Australian and New Zealand police to lower road tolls. Barack Obama is promising concrete steps on gun control after setting a, up a panel that will report back next month. His actions come on the wake of the shootings at a Connecticut elementary school that shocked much of the world. The US president says he realises no law can prevent every senseless act of violence, but that doesn't mean you can't try. We're going to need to work on making access to mental health care at least as easy as access to a gun. We're going to need to look more closely at a culture that all too often glorifies guns and violence. The world's happiest people aren't in the richest countries nor nations with the highest life expectancy. A poll of nearly 150,000 people around the world says that seven of the ten countries with the most positive attitudes are in Latin America. Many measures but rank higher in positive emotions. Kura nā karare matua maite whare korero o rima, Kakite ano.